hut is a short flowering twig that when chewed causes a feeling of mild euphoria. Since the United Kingdom banned the import of the stimulant, hut supply to Mogadishu has almost doubled. Every day 18 flights carrying cart arrive in the city. But one man is now on a mission to read cart. Abu Karawale is a resident of London. For many years he's campaigned against it. Now he's come to Mogadishu to sensitize and advance anti cart campaign. 600 sacks of cart arrive in Mogadishu every day. Each sack is worth $400. That's about $240,000. Now do the math. How much is that figure annually? Imagine if we used that money for development. We would have achieved a lot. Somalia imports cart from neighboring Kenya. The United Kingdom has been Kenya's biggest market, but now the bulk of that export has been diverted to Somalia. Abukar says cart uses a vicious cycle. When the young Somali man who chewed cut the whole night wakes up, all he prioritizes again is how to find another bundle of cat for the day. So if our society is producing people whose only goal is to chew cat and sleep, then repeat it all over again, that's disastrous. A Muslim country, the consumption of alcohol and most drugs is socially unacceptable here. But the use and dealing of cart is considered grey areas. Now the anti-cart campaign might not stop the imports of cart into this country, but hopes to influence young people from indulging in the stimulant. But not everyone agrees with the campaign. They say cart sales is a vital part of the economy. I don't support this anti-cart movement. They are not considerate. Cart trade provides sustenance to many families. You'll find a mother of 12 children supporting her family only through the sale of cart. So we can't just wake up one morning and say no more cart. Whether Booker succeeds in his anti-cart movements remains to be seen. For now it's clear that cart remains the love of many Somalis. Mohammed Hirmogi, CCTV.